Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another maths tutorial. Recently we've been doing quite a bit of uh, complex number lessons. So we're now up to lesson 3 where we're going to talk about the geometric representation of complex numbers. So to understand this lesson you would have learned previously that i squared is equal to negative 1. If you have no idea what I'm talking about you need to go back to lessons 1 and 2 of complex numbers. So the first thing we want to do today is define the set of complex numbers. So you probably need to go through our set theory lessons if you have no idea what sets are. But basically the set of complex numbers can be defined so that C is equal to the set of and we're going to call every number in our set Z and it is defined Z is defined such that Z is equal to uh, X plus Y times I uh, where X and Y are both elements of real numbers. Right, so that is the set of complex numbers. So we use the symbol Z to represent a complex number and a complex number is made up of a real number X plus another real number Y times I which is the imaginary number. Okay, so let's give you guys some uh, examples of complex numbers so let's say Z equals 6 plus 7 I that's a complex number or let's say Z 2 so the subscript 2 just uh, means another complex number could be uh, 10 minus 3 I Right, these all belong to the set of complex numbers. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the geometric representation of complex numbers. Now, in our definition of the complex number, you can see that we have Z equals X plus Y I. And basically, X is what we call the real part of of the complex number the real part of the complex number and you can also write it as R E bracket Z equals X. All right, so the real part of the complex number is X. Uh, R E is similar to a function where you input the complex number Z and it gives you gives back to you as the output the real part of the complex number Z which is X and Y is referred to as the imaginary part of the complex number and we can say uh, I am bracket Z will output back to you Y which is the imaginary part of this complex number 
So let's have a look at the example we provided previously. So we have z equals six z equals six plus seven i and what happens is we can draw a graph on the Cartesian plane and we can have x and y x is the horizontal y is the vertical and remember how x is the real part of the complex number and y is the imaginary part of the complex number so y is the imaginary part of the complex number and z which is our complex number can be drawn on this graph uh, using a single dot so x z has an x value of uh, 6 so we go 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and it has a y value of 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this number here this dot here represents Z uh, actually let's call it Z1 and now let's find Z2 so Z2 which we defined previously was Z2 equals 10 minus 3i so sorry for the previous one we had x equals 6 y equals 7 now we have x equals 10 y equals negative 3 so we can go to x 6 7 8 9 10 y is negative 3 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 so here would be our dot uh, for let me just rub this part out so uh, it's easier to see uh, Z2 which is represented by this dot okay now I want to show you briefly how you can draw this graph in GeoGebra so in GeoGebra uh, if you just clear everything that you have already on the screen down below in the input bar you can actually just type in a complex number for example uh, what did we have 6 plus 7i so you can just type in 6 plus 7i in the input bar below and it actually draws the complex number for you so I'm just gonna zoom out a bit so you can see it's drawn our complex number 6 plus 7i so we have 6 is the horizontal axis 7 is the vertical right and if you want to draw our other one which is 10 minus 3i and it's also plotted our point on the graph for us and similarly if you want the program to run the real function to output the real part of the complex number you can just put in real bracket and we want the real part of the complex number z1 so you put z underscore one and you press enter and it tells you the real part of this complex number is six and if you want the imaginary part you put imaginary bracket z underscore one and it'll give you seven because that's the imaginary part of this complex number so if you're not familiar with the GeoGebra program basically uh, it is a free program you can download off the internet and it draws graphs for you so it's pretty useful okay guys thanks for watching see you next time